what's up you guys? Hope you're all having a fan freaking tastic day. Today we are going to be installing something overall pretty simple on a car. If you're looking to modify your car, one of the best things you could ever do is change your suspension. I think changing your suspension to a coilover setup is very beneficial to your car. It's a very simple install right along the lines of say doing a cold air intake or something. It's just some simple nut and bolts kind of stuff. And the best thing is, is once you're done, you can adjust your ride height up and down. So if you want to be a static guy and just, you know, go all cambered out, whatever, you can do that. Or if you're looking for more of the performance performance oriented kind of suspension setup, you can go with something like a Fortune 500 coilover. This is a Fortune 500 coilover. This is going to go on the Subaru WRX behind me, belong by my buddy Morgan. You might remember this WRX from a car review a little while back, and he wanted to upgrade his suspension. He already has coilovers on it, by Morgan. He already, he already has coilovers on it, but he wanted to get a better system and I recommended Fortune Auto. We ended up touring the factory up in Virginia. If you didn't see that, it was a ton of fun. So now we are going to put these on the car and see the difference. So what's great about these is that they're hand built. They test every single shock by dynoing it. And whenever you send in your information, you literally give them everything. So like say I wanted to do a 2JZ 240SX. That's been done before, right? I had to tell them the weight of the engine and also what chassis I was using, the hatch, the coupe, so on and so forth. And then they custom build these just for that specific car. Oh yeah, by the way, I've said it a zillion times, but you also get a birth certificate by the guy who built it. So I guess if you didn't like your coilovers, that's who you tell. So we got the car jacked up and now we're gonna get right to it. Okay, okay. Before we get started, Morgan has something to show me, apparently. Is it a 3000 GT that's running properly? <laughs> T minus. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, look, it's already broken. I know. What's the difference? <laughs> No. This just in, lugs are missing. So, Mr. Morgan's bolt is extremely rusted. If you can't tell, this is something you might encounter with your install because old bolts are bolts or nuts, whatever you want to call them. Don't get mad at me. Anyway, point of the matter is this is having trouble coming off. So we're gonna use a little bit of WD-40. And also, this thing is being a turd. So. so while Morgan is doing the other wheel, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this wheel for him. Thankfully, got that bolt off using a little bit of WD-40, which is just such a magical substance. Ah, be a mechanic, David, they said. You'll suck, they said. True story. Oh my God, your wheels and tires are so much lighter than any of mine. So jealous. If you're doing this on a WRX, on the back wheel, it's gonna be the opposite side. On the front, you take this off, and the back you take that off. I feel like one of those cheesy 90s, like action movie covers when they hold the gun like this. So you turd. What? Does it fit? Uh, uh, if I went under it, maybe. Uh, this is the sound of distress. could not be a turd, that would be great. I might need a, yeah, a different extension. This should be called watch, watch and laugh at David. Could we have gone through that side the whole time? Uh, it seems so. <laughs> but we wouldn't need mechanics if we didn't try the hardest way first. Here, Jack, handle it. I got it. I'll do it. <laughs> no, try the other side. Oh, you did it. Right here. Yep. Ah, I like the problem. Hmm. The other one's spinning. Yeah, you have to lock down the other one. Yeah. Did I get it? Yeah, we're on. 
It's like doing a little dance with two wrenches. Yeah. I totally was gonna tell Morgan to use the impact, but I wanted to see how long it would take him to realize it. <laughs> well, she didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, that's a team oh, wow. effort. Oh yeah, there it is. What you guys haven't seen in this video so far is how many times I've gotten hurt. It's been <laughs> off camera every time, but I don't know how many times you guys saw in the early stages of my 240 project, I got hurt every single time I worked on it because I'm just a klutz. Why? Don't operate heavy machinery. <laughs> hey, by the way, later you can use an impact. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Got stuck in the lug. So this bolt was a little stubborn. Which size was that, Morgan? Uh, 12. It was a 12? Yeah. Okay. Cause he tried like three different sizes. You're like, what is the problem? <laughs> that almost went to the abyss. That this is gonna be hard to put back on? Is it just because it flexes? Oh. Yeah, it's a lot of like brute force. Oh, we'll get it. I'm not worried. I ain't even mad. And, like the hard part is like leveraging it. Yeah. You have to like get it. Oh wait, the brick brick line. Duh. That's what's stopping. Alright. Hey, can you like not be a turd? That'd be great. <laughs> Alright, so old coil over, new one. It's gonna be way prettier. So about fortunes is the top, they're adjustable, so they bend at your will. So if you're trying to get around some tricky stuff here in the wheel well, this can just adjust. It makes life much easier. And they designate which one goes where, which helps a lot. This is the right one. Can you tell the difference? It's magical. This is definitely the one part of coilovers that helps having two people. Because when you put it up through the hood, not the hood, but the, uh, Strut tower, you have to have somebody else. You don't have to, but it helps have somebody else screw on the top bolts. Oh. Super easy to be really excited about putting your coilovers in, so make sure you take off the provided bolts first. Been there, done that. Okay. Now push the right I'm working side on up. it. It won't do it because. Oh, there we go. Oh, that flap works so well. I like to adjust it. Okay, now I'm gonna get the uh, the trunk ones, and then I can pull this one out. All right, lift up. Uh, uh, pin my ride. Okay, so now the seat is out, and this is where you have to go to do the other coil. Fun stuff. Oh, look at that, the ratchet doesn't fit. Who would have thought? You're getting violent, Morgan. Well, I've exhausted all of their options. <laughs> Watch out, our Emperor Sidious is gonna show up. Emperor Sid you know what I meant, the Emperor. Oh, wow, that came out super easy. <laughs> Why can't you do that every time? Lined up. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit clockwise. Yeah. Wait, one second. You're gonna get very close to your vehicle while you do this. Yeah. It's like, hello. It's me. Okay, good? Yeah. Alright, let go. Plane back. Alright. Should be good. Or oh, wait. This way. Well, Morgan is finishing up that coilover. I thought I could show them around the shop a little bit. What do you think? That's fine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, we got a pretty cool C3 project. We got a old BMW, an old 2002 over here, which is possibly the first one imported. I think the 1800 is the, the 1800 is the possibly the first BMW ever imported in the United States. This one, in particular. Like, not, not like the first model, it's, it's the one. Of course, the 3000 GT you saw, 
And then we got a Vortec 05 to 09 Mustang under here. Rolls Royce under here. It's pretty cute. Oh, classy. You have to show the emblem to, to prove it, of course. Beautiful. Safe and sound, Rolls Royce. I'm not gonna hurt you. We got Morgan's dad's Mercury Cougar, which is awesome. You don't see many of these. Heavy truck. What's this? This isn't normal of the shop. Smurf, what are you doing here? This ain't your shop. This is awesome, this Bel Air wagon with flames on it. A car is a lot faster when it has flames on it. There is no doubt about it. It is scientifically proven. And you go back in the shop and you see Morgan working on a certain bug eye. We have a girl with blue hair. <laughs> We got one side done. You know what that means, Morgan? So one thing you might run into difficulty is once you get the coil lever up and mounted through the top, you might have trouble getting them back into place where this bolt is. And what I did was I lifted the rotor up with my hand, took the bolt, then pushed this towards me while lifting the rotor with my knee and then pushed it right through. So you have to kind of fiddle around a while to get it sometimes. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, you wanna come off, bro? Oh, wait. Ooh. <laughs> Hit my head enough this video. Oh, it's definitely on there. Good. So in conclusion, coilovers overall are about six bolts to do. The problem is, is if you have a little bit older of a car, that's when you run into trouble because those bolts are usually seized up and they're hard to get off. But once you get that out of the way, it's an extremely simple process. The brake line, the two main bolts, and then the three bolts on top. Other than that, what do you think, Morgan? Not too bad. Not too shabby, not at all. You don't come out with a block hand, you did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So with that, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.